another tutorial and this is on my new sort of rig which enables me to do to change characters pretty fast so this is basically UV mapped and I have like these all these characters in here and this idea came from Balder Mods I take no credit for it um, I knew how to do it already but never thought it could be used in this sort of way it can be used but uh, yeah so if this video gets hit and says oh you copied all the mods oh, oh my god I'll put the link on his channel in the description um, I will take the video down if you do that so yeah um, okay so let's get to the tutorial by the way that's express it's not that complicated I'll show you um, Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's make a new one. Um, just get a UV map character. Minecraft 2. Just watch my UV mapping tutorial and you should be able to know how to UV map. So I'm going to get my zombie. And by the way, to make another head, like to make the hair and stuff, uh, I just copy and paste the head. And then just change this to 62.5. Press enter. Wait, I'm not sure if that's good. I think 56. Oh, yeah, 56.25. And then the UV mapping would be. Let me just show you real fast. So the head would be like starting, this would be like the right side of the head, top, uh, front, left, back, and then just find a picture like, uh, let me show you one picture actually. Mm -hmm. uh, no. uh, so as you can see, the dwarf has like something like this and then you want to UV map the do off texture kinda and then you want to do this sort of thing and, uh, I'm not gonna do it but you should know how to do it if you watch my UV mapping tutorial okay so now let's get to the difficult part well, I'm not sure if it's difficult okay add user data the difficult part is learning so after you learn there's nothing difficult about the software so make a reel and we want five skins so let's just change this to five float slider okay on the zombie now and put this here the data watch my yeah watch my tutorial on the face rig you should not use use the data and stuff express also uh, so now let's get to the more difficult things like logic gates and stuff uh, so it's gonna compare what this does is it tells um uh wait let me show you hold control drag down control hold control five of them because we made five we we want five skins so five of them connect oh, so uh just connect all of them like that. Change this to 1, this to 0, this to 2, this to 3, and this to 4. So now it should have this one controls this one. Um, this controls number 1, this controls number 2, this controls number 3, 4, and 5. Yeah. Um, okay, so now let's get a compare, control, control which is a uh, condition condition and change it to a string and you want to con and this is what switches out every the um the skin because yeah, yeah i just kind of it's a logic gate uh i learned about it in minecraft actually uh conditions are what switch out stuff but baldemar this he also knows about it so so now we need to connect each switch 
onto each output of the compare like so and make sure it's a string yeah it's a string uh, when you hold control and everything zoom out ah oh, jeez and now we want to connect each output to the input of the next one like so and now we want to make the so this is the basic texture we're going to use so let's copy this and make an alpha channel paste this here and then it should come out like this um, and then don't worry any texture will work um, it will automatically change so we need to get the alpha channel uh, first let's do the color just drag just drag the texture like this over here and make a make it a file because it's basically a file and then grab this the alpha channel drag it with file and put it onto this one Okay, so we now have everything set up. So now we need to make the string, which is like the link to which skin we want on each one. So the first one we'll have Steve. Then the second one we'll have a zombie. So something like that. So now let's make the, 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 the constant and change it to a string. A string and hold control. Make a few of them. And then we want to connect the first one, just like the first two to the first one, then the next one to the next one, next one to the next one, next one to the next one, and one more. Weird. And this one to this one. Okay, so now we just have to load in the skins, and then we have our thing. Um, so click here, uh, make a new material, and just find it basically. So I have it on this my Cinema 4D PNG characters. So let's get the dwarf. None. No, no need to change it to none. It'll automatically do it because we have it on this. This this is the one. Mm, this is the texture which will keep changing when we. It. So now click here and you should have the link over here. So click here, uh, this here, like that. And the next one, let's find a different texture. Let's get end this the farm or something. Copy. So this one, paste the link. Let's get another one. Copy, paste, control C, control V by the way, copy and paste, it's pretty simple, you should already know that, Herobrine, Herobrine, whatever, uh -huh. and, ah oh, jeez, uh, night and this one last one and if you want to do put this on a lib 4d folder you need to just drag your textures into it like this uh, let me first finish this actually and then I'll show you uh, master chief chief no! Eh. Copy and paste. Okay, if this didn't work, ah, I'll be mad. Okay, it looks like it worked. Yeah, okay, so it's working. Um, this one I didn't, uh, you need to make it has an extra look. There are things here, hey, don't worry about it if you look in there. 
if you look in the alpha channel over here, uh, it actually does it for you. Pretty cool. Uh, like, and then, it, yeah, just UV map the f other top part of the head. Um, yeah, so now let me show you how to add it to a LIB 4D folder. Uh, so, let's get it to file, new preset library, name it whatever. Um, let's get, just grab that in there. And then under text, we should have just one, which is bad. Okay, so now we need to. Just move this step, ah, you know, just like that, and then go under color and just click and drag it there. Mm, maybe let's try like this. No. Mm -hmm. I think this will work like that. So uh, let's get the link of this. Yeah, so then you click here, get the link, and then, and then just go under the Expresso and put the link wherever. Uh, so this one, put it there, and it should still. Why is my printer just suddenly printing? Yeah, so it's working. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, thanks for watching, um, and bye.